Hello friends, how are you all? Hope you are all are very fine and today I will teach you about DNA repair. What is the DNA repair? DNA repair mechanism and what is the causes of DNA repair and the types of DNA rep repair mechanism. At first we have to know what is DNA repair. The main thing is that in our DNA we know it is bonded with particular bases like adenine with thymine, guanine with cytosine. But if there is some change among the nucleotide sequence then DNA repair is needed to be applied. And what is DNA repair? I said but why DNA re repair is important because sometimes for mismatch pairing we can got another nuclear sequence like we know that G will pair with C but if it is paired with T then we have to repair the nuclear sequence because if we are not capable of repair the nuclear sequence then it will be a great problem because it will produce non-functional protein or the protein producing effect that will affect in our body and sometimes the environment dam damaging ad agents will also cause DNA changing like we know that radiation UV light we know that UV light can change the DNA nucleotide sequence or DNA base pairing system can be dismissed by UV light so or another type that chemicals nitrous acid chemicals also can cause changes in our nucleotide system another some radiation some high energy another radiation or bases can be lost or changed spontaneously sometimes spontaneously can be that can change uh, subconsciously so for that reason we have to repair the DNA there are several types of DNA repairing system. Today we will learn the base existition repair. Existition repair. Another uh, repair system I will teach you in the next videos like nucleotide existition repair, mispace repair, etc. etc. So today our topic is base existition repair system. So what is the base existition repair system? Here we will learn about the base existition repair. In the base existition repair, we have to first the following steps are important in the base existition repair. The first step is to we have to correct the DNA. That means that means uh, I will show you in the next figure. That is the nucleotide sequence. That is found that is normally G with C, C with G, T with A. But here you see that uracil is base paired with guanine, but uracil is not perfect for our DNA combination. So that is deaminated uracil. So we have to change the, this base. For that reason, we will use base existition repair mechanism to change the nuclear sequence U to C. We know normally guanine will bind with cytosine. So, what do we need? When we need an enzyme that is glycosylase enzyme. Here it is uracil, so that is gly uracil glycosylase enzyme. <coughs> but if that is other nuclear sequence like methyl adenation, C methyl adenation or hypoxanthine etc. etc. There will other type of glycosylase will be used. So in this case we will use uracil glycosylase to remove this nucleotide or this base this base this uracil we have to remove the uracil by this glycosylase in them. So here what we see we see that uracil is removed and there is a gap region here. We have to learn that here uracil is removed but 
the main strand of the DNA, that strand, is perfectly occurring. There is no nick or there is no breakdown here. So that is the main important function of glycosylase that will only remove the base but not the the strand here the strand is perfect but the base is cut out so to fill the gap oh i uh, you have to know what is the gap mean that, that this gap is called epicyte this is epicyte If there is a problem in the nuclear sequence of adenine and guanine, then this site will be called the purinic site because cause we know that adenine and guanine is called purine base pair. And if there is problem in thymine and cytosine, then this site will be co called pyrimidinic site. So, now we have to use DNA polymerase we know that DNA polymerase fills the gap and the enzyme is DNA polymerase 1 but there is no nick there is no nick in the strand or there is no gap in the strand so if there is no gap in the strand the DNA polymerase 1 will not be functional so we have to occur a nick here so now we have to use an enzyme that is api endonuclease api endonuclease when we apply here then it will make a nick here like that like this here you see this there is a nick formation happening so what we will do now we will apply we will apply now dna polymerase 1 enzyme when dna polymerase 1 is applied then it will fill the gap with proper nucleotide sequence like we know that g will binds with g will bind with c so dna polymerase 1 will take a perfect c for the nucleotide sequence here you see that there is c is attached with g so for the first time we had uracil but for the proper treatment of base existon repair mechanism we now get a proper C so this nucleotide sequence is fully at us but DNA polymerase cannot seal the gap C is here but to seal the gap we will use the DNA ligase enzyme we know that there is a nick here polymerase that has from C to prime exonucleus activity but to fill the nick we will use the DNA ligase enzyme. Now the total nucleotide sequence is perfect. Here is the another structure. I said that some uh, activities can occur the uracidia and the glycolysis or C methyl adenine adenine DNA glycosylase for methylation and if there is occurring any hypoxanthine then we will use hypoxanthine glycosylase enzyme there is here is so that the epicyte I told ab about epicyte epicyte means the gap that it is it, if it is binded with adenine and guanine then it is this site is called pyronic site and I also said that why it is called a pyronic a pyrimidinic sorry a pyrimidinic when it is it, there the gap will contains the uh, thymine and cytosine that is called apironic site then here is said that DNA polymerase is occurring to making the new nucleotide sequence and the nick is solved the nick is filled by DNA ligase the total DNA base existion, existion repair sequence I said and I think everybody has totally enjoy this and we can understand easily thanks for watching friends please subscribe subscribe to my channel 
like and comment about the topic what you want to know and share with friends the friends who are learning genetic engineering and biotechnology share with the friends in your facebook page or twitter etc thanks everyone in my next lesson i will teach you some another type of prepare system thank you